Hey traders, how are we doing today? Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Arun indicator. Uh, a somewhat popular indicator, it's on trading new, it's definitely the first one uh, you see when you open it up if you're looking for that sort of thing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it works, and talk a little bit about strengths, maybe some weaknesses. I'm going to play with it a little while, uh, see if we can make it a little bit better, and then run some back testing on it. So with all that said, jump right into it. I have it set for a pretty long length right off the bat because I really don't like the short term Arun. It just travels back and forth. It's terrible. I went ahead and built the strategy for it. It was pretty simple. I actually just used the uh, moving average uh, equation and then threw in some stuff in there to get that done. So, then what we get is this. This equation, this crosses that, it sells. That crosses that, it buys. It's very simple. I have it set to an hour in length, so it should reciprocate around 60. And if we go to the strategy tester, we can see that it does. Reciprocates right around 60. 57 bar average. So, the way this works is it just takes the high and the low over the last so many bars, and it just sees, it just tracks if it, how come, it just takes the high or the low now, over so many bars, and it just tracks how close price comes to them. Um, breaking that low <clears throat> or breaking that high so right here broke that that means it broke the high on the last 60 bars break that it means that the trailing high was somewhere in here and it broke out of there right there so you bought it and then when it broke under the trailing low down here you sold it so it's basically just another moving box indicator uh, we've seen a bunch of these um, and you know it's probably about as effective as the other ones uh, depending on how you set it you can get different lengths different uh, things like that. The reason the Arun is interesting is it gives you the a little bit of structuring inside there for the trends themselves. <clears throat> so one of the strengths is it's definitely pretty good at measuring trend. I mean as long as it doesn't break the low or the high over so many bars it's gonna keep you in there until it does. It's a uh, interesting little indicator. So let's go to the str strategy and look at how it does. You can see it didn't do well. Um, I lost a bunch of money, and yeah, it's one of those trend traders. So the thing to understand with things that reciprocate around the mean like this, that have, um, you know, they went about a third, and then they take, on the good time, ah, this one's kind of poor. On the good times, you should try to win twice as much as it loses, if it's only winning a third of them. Um, but the way you could use something like this to do some sort of trend scalping, etc., etc. Is like, let's take this one right here. This is your entry. That down there is going to be your stop. So you enter, hold, and then this push here pops you up. What that is signaling by this going up is it breaking above these highs, which you entered at. So you take that one, and then there's your scalp exit. If you took this one, there's your scalp exit. If you took this one right here, there's your stop right below it. Same thing here. You say you take this one, and there's your stop right below it. Then you could do short, short, there's your exit. You want to just short this one, uh, you probably have to wait for it to cut in that back. Short there, there's your exit. Short there, short there, there's your exit. Short there, there's your exit. But there, so of course these are little scalps. You can see they don't, you'd have to set it bigger to get larger deviation in between. Um, but that's a nifty way to use the Arun, in my opinion. And it is basically just trend inside a trend. Uh, their rune is measuring longer term deviation and then has shorter term deviation. So if, yeah, very straightforward actually. Um, I mean, sometimes you don't get it. It's a little choppy sometimes. But that's how I would use the rune if someone put a gun to my head. This one was pretty nice. Come in there, exit. Come in there, exit. Come in there, exit. It's all about trading trend, right? You can even say, set it longer. Can't go that high. Oh yeah, you can set it to like a thousand, see, there's your entry down there, you hold, 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 exit, uh, exit, exit, stop, and you can take one of those, I guess it's a little, and it's, but the problem is the further you set it, obviously, the further the length, the longer your deviation stop's going to be, um, but you're also going to get higher hit rates, bigger wins. You could even do, hmm, there's a bunch of fun ways you could use this. Let's throw the strategy out for a second. Let's go do 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 do. Let's go through on. And that's not what I wanted. 
Let's go throw on a... And let's go ahead and set this for 60. Boom! You can even use something like that where you have a stochastic inside of um, this. So you get the top, top, as this is coming down. And then you have your exit down here. Uh, let's see, top, 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 exit, top, exit. The same thing on the low side. Um, you didn't really get any there, you never made a new high. But you have all these. As it comes up here, your bottom, bottom, down below, down below. You can take any of these little pops as exits. Or you could do, hell, you could even just use this. And buy that, sell that, buy that, sell that, buy that, sell that. It's going to be very similar. Um, it's just trend inside trend. This is just a, a funky way to kind of look at it. See, so it pops up. And you have all these up. Still green. You got these guys up. And this one, like you see at the bottom down here, you could have gone for that. It comes up and it stops you out. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, you could do worse, even at this length. And this would be tough. But still, you know, you sell the top, you sell the top, you sell any of these tops up here. Um, it does stop you out way over there. It's, it's, yeah, it's a couple of points. There's some bad trades, there's some good trades, but I'm just saying how I'd use it. Anyways, I hope you guys learned a little bit about how the rune works, uh, its strengths, its weaknesses, um, and a couple of uh, interesting things you can do with it. So yeah, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys have a great night.